So this is what it looks like if you get a ribbon problem or if you get a mechanical error. Um, we've got a problem on screen and, um, and we have to deal with it now. So let's go ahead and do movement order one. What is movement order one? Um, it is simply open, remove, close, repair, and plug out. So let's run through that. First thing you want to do is open the cover and you want to remove the ribbon. As you can see my ribbon has snapped. So the next thing you want to check for is for any obvious debris within the printer. As you can see here I've got a stuck card so what I can do is I can go and roll this roller along and see that I've got a card that's stuck in here and so you want to remove any things that are stuck. Sometimes some of the ribbon will be stuck around this roller and you want to just be able to remove that. Um, sometimes you may have, this roller may have come loose and uh, maybe it fell into the bottom of the printer in which case you want to have to get it out uh, either opening the side of the printer or through here. Just want to put that back in there quickly. After that, after the printer is clean, no ribbon, no cards, no obvious debris, you want to just close your cover and almost let the printer just reset itself. What you want to do then is you want to repair your ribbon. So the way you do that is you simply take a piece of sticky tape, you take the ribbon, and you roll the front side on a little bit, and I'm just going to stick this over there. And I'm going to wind the ribbon on a little bit. There we go. I like to always go to the black panel and now I have repaired my ribbon. You want to ask yourself firstly, are you using an authentic Evolus ribbon? If so, repair your ribbon. If not, you should always use authentic Evolus ribbons. Try using a different ribbon to see maybe if there's not a fault with your ribbon, maybe, um, maybe the chip inside has been corrupted or something of that sort that has caused the issue. After checking for any obvious debris, you want to go and plug out your printer. You want to make sure that you've removed all your cards from the printer. Movement order two is um, plugging the printer back in, um, reinserting, opening the cover and putting in your new ribbon or your repaired ribbon that you just fixed um, and also uh, reinserting your cards. And that should take you back to this place where the printer is ready. Um, I like to always do that process or that movement order one and two. So here we go. Let's double click and go into the properties here. And um, the first thing you want to do is go down to printing, front side graphical settings. You just want to make sure that your graphical settings are correct, that you aren't, that you didn't accidentally change the brightness to too high or that you haven't changed any of the varnish or anything like that to anything uh, that might be causing the ribbon to snap. Okay. And, um, and then what I like to do, the first thing I like to do is print a technical test card. So I've got a ribbon in, I've got cards in, I click on technical test card. This will just print a card for me. It scans the ribbon to find the appropriate starting point, pulls in a card, and starts the printing process. What this does is it simply prints a card for me to, to tell me that, hey, there's nothing wrong with the printer. I want, to, I want to establish where the problem is and so printing a technical test card for me tells me okay the printer prints it takes in a card it prints onto the card and there we go a perfectly printed card um, on top of that I like to put the card back in upside down and then I like to print a graphical test card just to put a bit more strain on the printer just to see if it's maybe not a color problem card is done and it is perfectly printed there's no obvious damage on the card. I don't see any printhead damage or lines across the card. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I know that it's not a printer problem. The printer prints fine. I've uh, done a movement order one and two. I've checked my settings and I've printed two technical a technical test card and a graphical test card and it's fine. This is uh, process number one of the technician's guide. You check, you check everything and check that it's fine. And if you want to go even further, I'd say you go into your documents or wherever and you find a nice picture. I usually check a sample picture and you open it up. I, I like this one because it's, um, it's quite heavy. It's quite a heavy red and so it'll require a lot of 
um, it puts a bit of pressure on the printer just to see if it's a printer problem so then you want to go file print or print print and you want to select your primacy and you want to print this picture straight away just to see if um, if it's not a design problem or maybe the drivers works but your design doesn't work or something like that so if you can do this process one and your printer is fine then attempt to print your design again whatever you were printing when it snapped because the problem might be the design you were using and so this process establishes whether it's your design or what you know if, if maybe it was something else so what this tells me is the printer is fine it prints the, the it prints fine onto the cards and we don't have a problem uh, if your printer still snaps the card move on to process number two of the technician's guide